when I was a Boy Scout, working on my Eagle Scout badge, um, our, uh, we, we glue, this is the 1950s. America was aglow with General Eisenhower sitting as our president of the White House. We had won World War II. We were a very proud nation, and service was number one. Mm -hmm. Service, pu public service. Uh, when I was 16 years old, uh, they needed a, they wanted uh, uh, to add, uh, put me in, in the, the, the Army Reserve, and the unit, they had to make a quota every year. Mm -hmm. And to make the quota, they had to lie about my age, and so they got me into the, 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 uh, uh, the Reserve. So I was a proud soldier at 16 years old, carrying a gun, and, and it was a medical unit, so they, they made me a, an ambulance driver. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my public service. It was just ingrained in you. All of my my um, aunts and uncles were in military uh, duty during the, the war. I saw them all in uniforms. My aunt was um, uh, on General Eisenhower's staff when he was Supreme Allied Commander over in um, uh, Europe, in, mm -hmm. in London, and she was on that staff with him. When he went to the White House, he. He called her and said, "You're going to come and be my, my, uh, my, my secretary." And she sat immediately off the Oval Office and worked for General Eisenhower for eight years. Uh, I had an, an aunt that was a, 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 a wave, another one that was a whack, and then I had um, uncles in the Army and the Navy, both had no Marines, but the sense of service to our country was all around us. I grew up in that era. Then I go to Washington for a year. And here I am around all these politicians. These were great men. Mm -hmm. They were not. When they made decisions about legislation, it was what was good for my, what is good for the country? What should I do? How should this bill, this legislation be crafted? What is good for the country? Mm -hmm. Not what's good for me, what's going to get the most press on the cameras, et cetera, et cetera. When I was there, Mr. Sam, we call him Mr. Sam, Sam Rayburn was, was in the chair. He was Speaker of the House. John McCormick was his right-hand man. Charlie Halleck was the leader of the, uh, of the, of the uh, then minority party for that one year, and, and uh, Gerald Ford, mm -hmm. and Bill Adair from Illinois. Over in the Senate, and the, the, today the Senate and the Congress, uh, the House of Representatives folks, they don't, they don't um, uh, communicate. Back then, they hung out together. Mm -hmm. they could, we didn't have jet airplanes back then, so they couldn't get on an airplane and just go home mm -hmm. for the weekend to raise money and make speeches. They spent time in Washington. The families knew each other. They did pic picnics together, et cetera. And in the Senate, the year I was there, we had John Kennedy, Richard Nixon, uh, Lyndon Johnson, Barry Goldwater, Mike Mansfield, and um, Everett Dirksen, well-known people. And I, here I am, a kid, 16 years old, watching how they work together in, in a bipartisan fashion. Mm -hmm. And I got an eye, eyeful. Mm -hmm. But again, what I saw was public service. I saw real public servants at work. Mm -hmm. So th then with that background, I come here, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm immersed in this four-year college and a faith-based college, and 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 uh, I, I, I do the, the the minor in religion, and it you know the, those lessons just really sank home. Mm -hmm.